Hey guys, this is your Kilenchi. Uh, I just thought to make a video on how to make use of uh, Arduino and LabVIEW together. So in this we going to use a LabVIEW software to access the uh, Arduino. So let's see how it's ha how it can be done and let's go ahead. Yeah. So uh, initially we have to uh, install LabVIEW of course. Yep. So for that uh, I assume you already installed a LabVIEW software. So after you install LabVIEW software, just go and uh, search in your search, I mean, uh, start menu, VI package manager. So you get a icon VI orange, this is the one you have to click it. So click that. So it, it actually opens a box in which you can install many toolkits from there. So um, in that you can see a search box, search uh, which allows you to search a lot of uh, packages that type Arduino get a lot of packages and stuff uh, related to Arduino so in that make sure that you are installing LabVIEW in interface for Arduino I here I've already installed so it's showing a little icon of LabVIEW so after you install this thing you make sure that uh, Arduino, Arduino uh, board should uh, recognize that LabVIEW software so for that we have to open the file LabVIEW software where it is installed so I have installed in C programming so uh, program file national instrument LabVIEW 2015 so open your LabVIEW where it is installed and you will be finding a bi.lib open that it's nothing but a library so in that you just find LIFA uh, interface for Arduino which you installed a few minutes back just open that so you will be seeing a film there open that LIFA page here yeah. So you'll be seeing one leaf of base file which is uh, uh, Arduino file open that so this is the this is the file which makes uh, communication between uh, LabVIEW and uh, uh, Arduino so in which you just go and uh, go ahead normally uh, select the post which you're using board I'm using your uh, Arduino Mika so I'm using this thing so go ahead and uh, uh, upload the code so I've already uploaded the code so after uploading code just close the Arduino so after it's done just open LabVIEW yeah. so I've already connected the Arduino yeah. so open the LabVIEW you gonna make a new VI yeah, yeah. so here I'm gonna make a program um, to just toggle a LED uh, on and off in uh, Arduino which is available in 13th pane um, I'm just gonna use Arduino software for that so let's go ahead and we'll see what's what we can do with that. So after installing your package, get in, go into a, to a block diagram in LabVIEW, right click it, net and search for Arduino. You'll be finding this Arduino over here. Yep, this is the Arduino package which you installed a few minutes back. So this is you got initial initialization, close, low level sensors, utility examples. All these things are very important, uh, especially the initialization and close are very important. This low level is nothing but which allows you to make uh, access of uh, pins available in Arduino and uh, change the P PWM and the other stuff. So uh, here are some sensors if you are using, you can directly interface with that and some examples and stuff. So we'll go ahead with initialization of uh, LabVIEW with the Arduino. So right now I'm going to initialize the Arduino. So so first thing which is asking it is uh, Visa resource, nothing but which uh, port you are using. So I'm going to make a control for that to select which port I'm going to use. The second one is the baud rate. So don't mess up with the baud rate, uh, it is really necessary, leave that. So the next thing is board type. So this allows to make uh, use how to, I mean uh, sorry, uh, which board you are using. So we can select that. So this is a uh, package. This is also not necessary perfectly alright. Do that. And next one is connection type. So this this one is allows to make sure in which connection you're using. So I'm using a LabVIEW serial. If you're using XB, you can use select that. So I'm using on uh, USB serial uh, for connecting to make make the connection to my laptop and add, you know. So I'm used this one. So let's go ahead and make sure make a, a fast basic code which allows to toggle. LED on and off so I'm for that I'm creating a while loop so before that uh, what we want to do is low level 
we want to set pin mode which is nothing but we have to uh, say add you know which which uh, which pin we want to use and uh, whether it's an input or output for that you have to select uh, set digital pin mode so after that it asks for digital pin number so right now I'm gonna use 13 pin so next is input output oh, yep. done so after that you have to make a digital right pin yeah digital right pin alright so this pin allows to make a uh, uh, pin high order so that's what it does and after that you have to connect the Arduino resource which is really important uh, to connect all all the uh, sub VAs of Arduino uh, package uh, with Arduino resource so in this it's again asking which pin yep. so this is a value yep right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a toggle switch to toggle from 0 to 1 so I'm make a toggle over here for the indication. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, we got it here. So connecting. Oh, oops. so yeah. Here we're getting an error because this gives boolean and this accepts only one and zero. So we wanna make a conversion in between. So for that, I'm gonna go in boolean. Uh, right click boolean and boolean to 0 to 1 conversion I'm gonna use this yep done so again from the boolean itself I'm taking out for boolean 2 which is nothing but a lead to for the indication purpose so everything is done right now the last thing which we have to do is close it very important as we initialize the library we have to close the library I mean, sorry. As we initialize the uh, Arduino, we have to close the Arduino. After that, the everything is done. Cool, everything is perfect. Oh, broken. Okay. Yep. Oh, yep. Yeah. So this one is for uh, stop control. So this is nothing but to we we have to uh, make uh, I mean uh, make sure that when when the uh, while loop should stop or start. So for that, we have to make sure uh, we put a control or constant for the st uh, uh, stop here. So I made a control over here. So everything is done. Let's go ahead. Let's let me move all this. So I'm gonna make yeah, I'm using Comfort 5 Arduino Mega. So I've selected all the things. So before that I'm run the program, I'll show you the Arduino. So right here you can see only the LED on, I mean which is uh, power on only the, uh, that LED is switched on so I will run the code okay. cool so right now you can see uh, RX and TX pin are on which is nothing but which shows that the connection pole is uh, connection between the Arduino and the LabVIEW is successfully established so let's go ahead and check what happens cool as you see the boolean 2 LED in the LabVIEW is on as well as the 13th pin in the Arduino Mega is also on. On, 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 on. Cool. So we have made a successful connection between uh, uh, Arduino and LabVIEW. So this, I think this will help you a lot guys because this allows you to make a quick prototype and uh, this is not the only thing you can do. You can do a lot of things with this. What are the capabilities in Arduino you can access using uh, LabVIEW. So if you have any other uh, doubts or any other thing, if you want to make more accessible thing in the Arduino, just contact me and uh, thank you guys. Hope you enjoy the video and I hope uh, this is very helpful for you guys. See you next video man. Alright, bye.